Hey, Tolosa. Let's get my day started. Now, you may notice that I'm wearing a bow tie. And I am. I am wearing a bow tie. Because um, I have started a tradition a little while ago, back in the... Oh, I don't know. Maybe about a year ago. And I say tradition, but really, you know, it's me doing it. Um, little thing every Friday, I try to dress up with a bow tie. I call it Bow Tie Day Friday. I imagine some of you are already familiar with it. The rest, well, get on board. It's a real bow tie. I actually tied it. It is difficult, believe me. You know, like the first time I teach you how to tie a necktie, they go, oh, well, it's, it's easier than it looks. It is easier than it looks. But the bow tie, it's harder than it looks. But it is a skill that you can acquire. Um, it takes a little, a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience. And, uh, so we're going with all red, white, and blue today. I don't own green and red outfits. That's just it's suitable for emblems, flags, or weird combination on a human being. It's total. Anyway, all that aside, it's the first full day of being back in the kingdom. I have not looked at the boards yet. Not looked at wit. I haven't seen it. any announcements or anything like that. <coughs> but of course, you know, a night dress as well, if you can help it. And he bumps the season again. Oh, buddy. A night dress as well. And also, it just seems like it's a really big deal. It's a Friday, so let's all have a good time. Let's relax. Friday is usually the least busy day of the week where I work because a lot of people call us, want to deal with us, have problems. Most of the time, they honestly, uh, they don't want to deal with anything. Friday either, so a lot of times I'll be like, okay, how about we schedule for Friday at 4 o'clock, and they're like, oh, no, I'm leaving before that. I'm like, really? Yeah, really. So, we're, uh, well, I can kind of keep that attitude of Friday going. A little drama yesterday. Certain individuals don't rub up against other individuals all that well. That's fine. I'll take full responsibility for what I said, but um, having gone back over it, I'll be honest, um, I don't regret a word because what I said was accurate and sincere. But, you know, anybody who wants to look, equate one person's throwing a fit because they didn't, they didn't get uh, everyone else to agree with them. They're, they're gonna throw, they're gonna throw a fit and they're gonna leave. You think that's the same thing as what happened with me and the rest of the people who found it public? Public? Yeah, no. I know you don't like me. I'm in a feat. Liberal. Socialist, intellectual, know it all. And, um, fuck you if you have a problem with that, dude. And this is who I am. Yeah. Um, the question is do I think I'm better than you? Um, the best way to put it is generally, no. No, I don't think I'm really better than most people at all. But every once in a while, an individual. Emerges 
and gives me no reason to think otherwise. You know? Darn. Nice bitch. So... Let's pass out phone numbers. Let's make sure that we do more than just email and talk and post stuff on Wittenberg. Get to know somebody's voice. Get to know somebody's face. Um, obviously, spend time with the Tolosa if you can do that. And of course, I mean, we've done that. It's not like this is a brand new suggestion that I've got. Uh, as recently as this week, Tolosans are meeting up and shaking hands and sharing the drink and uh, getting to know one another. So that's not a revolutionary idea. It's just the idea that I think that we should make an even bigger effort to do so. We tend to do so with, oh, I'll be in the area. Well, why don't we specifically make a point of being in the area to do that specific thing, to specifically uh, go meet face to face, shake your hand, get on each other's nerves in a good, natural, organic way, by being in the same room with them, so they can hear your snide remarks in the fresh, crisp air, the way snide remarks were meant to be heard. Uh, one of the things about the internet that I have disliked is that it seems to encourage um, sort of a veil, not quite of anonymity, but of protection for some folks who, and I'm not specifically thinking of any of you guys, really not, because I have no idea uh, about some of the folks, but they, they feel like, oh, I'm behind the keyboard, they're a thousand miles away or more, so I'm going to say what I want to say, and that's all there is going to be to it, and what are they going to do about it? We act as if, a lot of people act as if there is no true consequence in real life for what they say and do. But um, you can ask any of the other Tolosans who've ever met me in person if I'm any different in real life. I'm any different face to face. I would say Jeff is a perfect example of a person you should check with. He and I have talked on the phone a lot. We have back gone back and forth online, emails, uh, and we met. And I'm exactly the same in all contexts. I make a point of that. I may not be as abrasive if I'm sitting on a city bus next to your grandmother. Because, you know, that's fine. But I'm still me. I'm still who I am. And I still act like I would in that context. And in certain contexts, if I lose my temper or I feel offended by something, I bring it up. Even if I'm sitting next to your grandmother on a city bus, if she crosses me, Let's just say grandma should not cross me. You know? I'm not, a threat. I'm not threatening your grandmother. What I'm saying is that you know, generally just me. And I encourage everybody else to do the same thing. I want to know that the person who I've been dealing with through this one medium is precisely the same in all. I'm an optimist. So far, I have no reason to believe otherwise. But I've known a couple of Tolosans who were so different in real life <laughs> them, that you kind of wonder what the hell their problem is. Uh, I don't seek the protection of the internet. As a matter of fact, I find the internet to be limited. Because I don't get to express myself the way I want to. So many times I've actually gotten into 
arguments with friends because I can't, the, the, the nuance and the subtlety and the, the real back and forth of a, an actual conversation hasn't, you know, been communicated. So, please, be who you are in every context. That's good life advice, people. Write that down. that, you know, to be respectful doesn't mean that you can't hurt feelings. To be respectful means that you, you see other people as uh, individuals, as equals, and that you respect the fact that you, you acknowledge that they are they are, and that it's that they, and that it's valid. That's respect. Acknowledging that they exist and that they are valid. Oh goodness, I broke the damn mount. So do that, Telosa. Do that. Show respect, but that doesn't mean. That you have to preserve somebody's feelings and sacrifice the greater truth. In the war for truth, there's a war, my friends. In the war for truth, feelings are the first thing to be sacrificed. And I'm not saying don't consider their feelings. I'm saying, I'm saying don't sacrifice the truth for the feelings. And don't sacrifice, if you forgive me, sacrifice the truth for your feelings either. Don't go, yeah, but I want it to be this way. Because that's, like I was saying in a previous video, it's exactly what Jeff did. He refused to sacrifice the truth for his own feeling. His own feeling was, let's all be one Tolosa, but he understood the greater truth, which is, tyranny will not stand. And that's to be commended, folks. That's to be commended, because that's the, that's the ideal that you're willing to sacrifice even your own feelings. Better pursue the truth. All right, this is Captain Philosophy signing off. And have a good Friday. Walk on with your bad selves. I gotta go talk to my rheumatologist and see what the hell's going on with my gout. All right, peace out, America. I mean, Tolosa.